Namaste angels. I'm here with what I think will be a quick update and revelation. Um, yesterday I did a revelation video where I mentioned a poem that's been, I don't remember a time when I didn't know this poem. I don't know from where or why I remember this poem, but I, again, I've known it like my whole life and I don't remember ever not knowing it. It's called In Flanders Field. The last line says, um, like we shall not sleep though if ye break faith with us who die meaning like if you forget about the people who died for you we shall not sleep though poppies grow in Fan Flanders field and I didn't realize until yesterday after doing it that there was a meaning in that we shall not sleep though poppies grow in Flanders field I just thought they meant they'd be restless you know they'd be restless spirits but that's not all people used to use the poppy the opium as a sleep aid so they're saying even though this we're, we're, we're laying here surrounded by all this poppy all this opium we still shall not sleep um and i guess at the same time also what i originally thought we're going to be restless but that's not all i came to mention to you today spirit told me of something called the dancing plague of 1518 which would be 69 like cancer or like the summer of 69 which this is the 69th year 69 of 70 with next year 2017 being year 70 and the year that all of this ascension is really supposed to take off uh the year that i believe those who are of the 144,000, I believe they'll all know it by next year. But I, I, you know, I can't definitely say that. But that's what I feel. Anyway, um, I bring it up on Wikipedia because I never heard of this dancing plague. And on the side, there's a picture, and I read, I catch, I, actually, I catch a glance of the picture, and I see the word Flanders, and I stop to read it engraving so that's how the picture was made it's an engraving of hendrik hondius h-o-n-d-i-u-s portrays three women affected by the plague work based on original drawing by peter bruegel b-r-u-e-g-h-e-l who supposedly witnessed a subsequent outbreak in 1564 which would be 611 or i'm sorry no, which would be seven. Uh, 1564 would be seven. But he witnessed supposedly this outbreak in Flanders. So I go, oh, this is what Spirit was trying to tell me. And I didn't go any further, so I'm going to do that now with you. Flanders, Dutch for Vlanderen, V L A A N D E R E N today normally refers to the Dutch speaking northern portion of Belgium. So Flanders is Belgium or North, North Belgium. It is, maybe that's where I come from or at some point, I don't know. I don't know why I know this poem. I don't know if I wrote it. <laughs> maybe I'm the person that wrote it. Maybe I'm one of the people who shall not sleep though poppies grow. I don't know. Maybe none of the above. Anyway. It is one of the communities, regions, and language areas of Belgium. The demonym, or demonym, D-E-M-O-N-Y-M, associated with Flanders is Fleming. And that's another hyperlink. While the corresponding adjective is Flemish. What's a demonym? Let's see. A demonym is a tribe is a word that identifies residents or natives of a particular place which is derived from the name of that particular place it is a recently minted term previously gentilic or so gentiles okay but it's spelled like demon d-e-m-o-n y-m so i think they could come up with a better word but i don't know um okay so the people who are 
from Flanders are the Flemish. The official capital of Flanders is Brussels, although Brussels itself has an independent regional government and the government of Flanders only oversees some cultural aspects of Brussels life. Historically, the name referred to the country of Flanders, Flandria, which around AD 1000, so 1000 years after Jesus Christ, stretched from the Strait of Dover to the Scheldt Estuary, S-C-H-E-L-D-T. The only parts of historical Flanders situated within modern day Flanders are the provinces of West Flanders and East Flanders. Well, if I'm from one of those, it would have to be East Flanders. The sun rises in the east and set is in the west. So I wouldn't be over there. Nevertheless, during the 19th and 20th centuries, it became increasingly commonplace to use the term Flanders to refer to the entire Dutch-speaking part of Belgium, stretching all the way to the river Maas, M-A-A-S. In accordance with late 20th century Belgium state reforms, the area was made into two political entities, the Flemish community, Dutch, and the Flemish region. Uh, okay, so one is Dutch Gemenschap, uh, Gemenschap, G-E-M-E-E-N-S-C-H-A-P, and that's the Flemish community, and the Flemish region is Dutch Vlaams Guist, V-L-A-A-M-S-G-E-W-E-S-T. These entities were merged, although geographically the Flemish community, which has a broader cultural mandate, covers Brussels, whereas the Flemish region does not. Flanders has figured prominently in European history. During the late Middle Ages, cities such as Ghent, G-H-E-N-T, Bruges, B-R-U-G-E-S, Antwerp, A-N-T-W-E-R-P, and Brussels made it one of the richest and most urbanized parts of Europe. Oh, maybe that's why I know about it. It was just something Spirit wanted to point out to me. Where the rich people are. Weaving the wool of neighboring lands into cloth for both domestic use and export. As a consequence, a very sophisticated culture developed with impressive achievements in the arts and architecture, rivaling those of northern Italy. Belgium was one of the centuries, centers of the 19th century Industrial Revolution, but Flanders was at first overtaken by French-speaking Wallonia, W-A-L-L-O-N-I-A, in the second half of the 20th century. However, Flanders economy modernized rapidly and today Flanders is significantly more wealthy than its southern counterpart. Geographically, Flanders is a generally flat Flanders is generally flat, sorry, and has a small section of coast on the North Sea. Much of Flanders is agriculturally fertile and densely populated with a population density of almost 500 people per square kilometer or 1,200 people per square mile. It borders France to the west and the Netherlands to the north and east of Wallonia to the south. The Brussels capital region is an enclave within the Flemish region. Flanders has exclaves of its own. Voren, V-O-E-R-E-N, in the east is between Wallonia and the Netherlands and Varel Hertog, B-A-A-R-L-E hyphen H-E-R-T-O-G in the north consists of 22, master number 22, 1111, uh, exclaves surrounded by the Netherlands. I don't know, maybe we belong there. Not just me, but all of us, if this is, if 1111 is happening there. <laughs> um, and I'm looking at like a flag and a coat of arms and there's a lion on it. Let's see if there's any information about this. It is indeed called the Flemish Lion. And I'm hearing, I wanna be iron like a lion in Zion. Present day Belgian Flanders, dark green, shown within Belgium and Europe. Brussels is in some contexts considered part of Flanders and in other contexts separate. 
the country of Flanders existed, I guess, officially from eight. Oh Lord, here we go with this scrolling thing. 862 to 1795. The community in Belgium, Belgium was, I guess, started in 1970, and the region in Belgium was started in 1980. Uh, the government executive is the Flemish government. So they have their own. The minister or president is somebody named Gert, G-E-E-R-T, Borghese, or Borghese, or B-O-U-R-G-E-O-I-S, bourgeois. <laughs> uh, the legislature is the Flemish parliament, and the speaker, I guess, of the house is Jan Pumans, P-E-U-M-A-N-S. They have a population of 6,444,000. So that's 12 and 6 is 18, 9. Um, 127. So there's another 9. 9, 9 is 18 and then 1, 19. Mm. Or 1. Okay, that's, that's enough about Flanders. Um, but I got to tell you still about the dancing plague, which is really bizarre. So, the Dancing Plague of 1518. Uh, the Dancing Plague or Dance Epidemic of 1518 was a case of dancing mania that occurred in Strasbourg. S-T-R-A-S-B-O-U-R-G Alsace. A-L-S-A-C-E, which was then part of the Holy Roman Empire, which the website that I believe was the history channel's website I don't remember that I was reading fr from which I was reading about different events that had occurred I think on the day of one of the daily readings this week I came across the first day I guess of the or the last day of the Holy Roman Empire and it said it was neither holy nor an empire and I said those aren't my words I'm reading that so now that Holy Roman Empire is coming up again just days later um and Strasbourg, Alsace, used to be part of it. Anyway, in July 1518, around 400 people took to dancing for days without rest. And over the period of about one month, some of those affected died of heart attack, stroke, or exhaustion. The outbreak began in July, so this is an anniversary. July 1518, 6-9, again, like the sign of cancer or this year, the summer of 69, when a woman, Mrs. Trophia, T-R-O-F-F-E-A, began to dance fervently in the street in Strasbourg. This lasted somewhere between four and six days. Within a week, 34 others had joined, and within a month, there were around 400 dancers, predominantly female. Some of these people eventually died from heart attack, strokes, or exhaustion. One report indicates for a period the plague killed around 15 people per day. Historical documents including physician notes, cathedral sermons, local and regional chronicles, and even notes issued by the Strasbourg City Council are clear that the victims danced. It is not known why these people danced, some even to their deaths. And I think why is because this spirit source the creator is about music that silly movie that I love so much Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure when they go up to space and it's being ruled by these musicians essentially I think that there's some truth in that some reality in that anyway um so these people were dancing themselves to death and it is not known why as the dancing plague worsened concerned nobles sought the advice of local physicians who ruled out astrological and supernatural causes instead announcing that the plague was a natural disease caused by hot blood However, instead of prescribing bleeding, authorities encouraged more dancing, in part by opening two guild halls and a grain market and even constructing a wooden stage. The authorities did this because they believed that the dancers would recover 
only if they dance continuously night and day. To increase the effective effectiveness of the cure, authorities even paid for musicians to keep the afflicted moving. Historian John Waller stated that a marathon runner could not have lasted the intense workout that the men and women died from hundreds of years ago. And it says, see also Dancing Mania, Sydenham's Chorea, S-Y-D-E-N-H-A-M apostrophe S, C-H-O-R-E-A, Tanganyika Laughter Epidemic, T A N G A N Y I K A Laughter Epidemic, or Tarantism, T A R A N T I S M. Further readings uh, Backman Eugene Lewis, Religious Dances in the Christian Church and Popular Medicine, Waller John. A Time to Dance, A Time to Die, The Extraordinary Story of the Dancing Plague of 1518. Waller John, The Dancing Plague, The Strange, True Story of an Extraordinary Illness. External Links, Dancing Death by John Waller, BBC News. And The Dancing Plague of 1518 by Doug McGowan. Okay. I just had to tell you about Flanders and the dancing plague and I guess how in a really interesting way this music continues to tie into our experience. I hope that you found it at least interesting if not enjoyed it. Um, in either case, Spirit, Spirit wanted me to share it with you. Namaste Angels.